I am Alexa Bloody here at Hot Topic today, and I am very, very excited because we have some horror icons that we're talking about. We have Freddy vs. Jason eyeshadow palettes, which is so cool. I'm so excited. We have Freddy's palette, which is called Never Sleep Again, and we have Jason's palette, No Place to Hide. And first of all, can we just say, this packaging is so cool. Like even if you're not even into makeup, it's still cool for like collectors. These pictures go together and they're magnetized. It's cool, I'm just saying. So I'm gonna be using both of these palettes since they kind of go together. It's kind of like a spooky everyday horror type Jason and Freddy inspired look. We are going to do a purpley red, like creepy eyeshadow, daily wear type thing. Uh, I think for the crease and like top area I want to do mostly purples which for that I want to use the Jason palette which is called no place to hide and then the red like main thing <laughs> I'm gonna use the never sleep again Freddy palette so to get started I think I'm just gonna lay down a base of Jason lives across my whole lid everywhere just so that we have something to kind of blend and build off of uh, it'll just make everything blend easier if we have a base of shadow down first. So this is just a nice neutral little base that we can get started with. And then I'm going to just go ahead and jump up into my crease. Because we're doing purple, I think we'll use Voorhees here, which is this dark purple from the Jason palette, which is so cool. And since the next closest one to these are both Counselor and ch -ch -ch -ah, we're gonna mix those together to kind of blend down into the Voorhees dark purple, just as like a transition kind of color. We'll go from light to dark in there. So I'm gonna start with Counselor and just kind of lightly build it in and take this color up the highest because it is a transition to like the lighter brow bone color. Okay, then I'm gonna do ch 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 ah, ah, ah. You can see it's like starting to transition a little bit there. These are nice, pretty soft pinks. It's a little bit backwards from what most people do, but I usually will do this top edge at the end to kind of clean it up and make sure that um, it has a nice soft transition, but I usually wait to the end to soften that all up, so just bear with me. We'll go ahead and start packing in Voorhees, the dark purple color. I'm gonna start with just a light hand, just like barely placing it on there to get a lighter application and then I'll come back in and pack it to really get that bold payoff of the purple. And sometimes I'll scoot back and forth back to the lighter colors too to help that transition. So we're back to ch 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 ah, ah, ah. Um, We'll just scoot back and forth um, like as needed to help help it look a little more smooth. Now I'm going to go in and really pack that um, the dark purple. I'm gonna bring it all the way in here actually. So my eyes are hooded eyes, like my eyelids are hooded, which makes the application of this kind of eyeshadow a little bit different than it would be for people who don't have hooded eyes. So it just means that I'm gonna need to take the purple up a little bit higher um, to be able to see it than if you didn't have hooded eyes. So basically what I wanna do is like hold a mirror up straight and look straight at it and then kind of dot where you can see over the hood of my eyes. So it's gonna go up a little bit higher than it would for non-hooded eyes. Just a heads up that people with hooded eyes can wear cute makeup too. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab some more of that uh, transition shade and blend that out a little bit. So now the fun part, we get to switch over to 
um, the Freddy palette, Never Sleep Again, and we're gonna grab Bloodbath, which is a bright red eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna pack it all the way across my lid. It's a really nice matte red, and it, the color payoff is awesome. I'm just gonna pack it straight on. Eighties horror movies are definitely the best. I think. Let us know what your favorite horror movie is, um, and which one of these guys are your favorite. Jason, Freddy. I'm a Freddy kind of girl. I like the fantasy horror, the dreamscape more than like the slasher tension, stalking, scary. <laughs> I like them both, but um, I I'm a I'm a Freddy kind of girl. Okay, just a little bit more of the red on this one. It's all right if it looks a little bit messy for now. We'll clean it all up at the end. Get it looking all cute. I'm gonna go ahead and bring some shadow down on the lower lid um, in kind of this same sort of pattern. I'll, get, I'll do uh, purple on the outside, then red right there in the middle, and we'll put like a lighter highlight color on the inside. And at this point, you can kind of shape out what you want the um, like wing area here to look like. You can decide. <laughs> how far out you want it to go or whatever. Now we'll hop back to Bloodbath. One of my favorite names, that one, and then obviously, you guys know. And the red underneath the eye is going to really tie the red together that's up on the lid. And I'm just gonna pack it on kind of the same way that I did on the lid too. So before we do the highlight, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go back in like what I was talking about earlier, softening up those edges that are like around here. You can see it's a little bit uh, a rough edge there and just kind of smoothing all of this out. And I'm gonna use Jason Lives to do that. darken up these corners just a tiny bit more um, and for that I'm going back to Freddy's palette and I'm going to use slash which is like a dark like slate gray so I'm just going to pack slash like right in on this outer corner I'm not gonna I'm not going to go too far up into the purple just uh, darken up this edge just a little bit more and then I'm gonna put Voorhees back on my brush and kind of blend that in with the black very softly and let's bring it around down underneath too just a little bit so now we are going to jump back to immortal which is that highlight color and you'll see it's very sparkly it's a perfect highlight we'll use it as a brown bone highlight as well and it just brightens up that inner corner with such a, a dark eyeshadow look it um, just helps kind of brighten it back up, makes you look more awake. Very pretty. And I'm gonna use it up here as my brow bone highlight too. Mmm, pretty. So the key to looks like this is always going to be, they look a little bit weird until you have like your eyeliner, your lashes, that kind of stuff to like really tie it all together. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I think I'll just throw a big winged liner on there some big pretty lashes, and it's all gonna come together. I'm gonna line my upper waterline with black and my lower waterline with gold. Gold just complements this like red and purple uh, really well. I kind of like it kind of in the center here too. So we'll just do uh, some mascara and throw some lashes on. Then lips, definitely gotta do that too. So I'm gonna add a dark purple lip with this to give it kind of like a more horror, kind of sultry sort of feel. Can't go wrong with a dark lip and uh, some dramatic eyes. 
So that's the look today for the Jason and Freddy inspired palettes here available at Hot Topic and HotTopic.com. Make sure you subscribe to Hot Topic if you like this video. You can just check me out too. My name is Alexa Paletti. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the look and the video. I'll see you next time. Bye!